Welcome to Cadre's companion video to the Parent Guide for IDEA Special Education Due Process Complaints, also referred to as Due Process Hearing Requests. A due process hearing may be an appropriate dispute resolution option when the IEP team cannot resolve disagreements about identification, evaluation, or placement of a child with a disability or the services outlined in the IEP, or how those services are provided. This video explains due process complaints and how to file a request for a due process hearing. Filing a due process complaint to request a hearing under Part B of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, is described generally in this video. This resource is not intended to interpret, modify, or replace any procedural safeguards or requirements of federal or state law. A due process complaint also called a hearing request, is a written document used to request a due process hearing related to the identification, evaluation, or educational placement of a child with a disability, or the provision of a free, appropriate public education, or FAPE, to the child. For information on expedited due process hearings for discipline-related disagreements, see Cadre's Parent Guide Resources on Expedited Hearings. A due process hearing is a more formal process than other dispute resolution options. It is conducted by a hearing officer who considers the information provided by each side, may ask questions of witnesses, and makes a decision about the dispute. The hearing officer is neutral and knowledgeable about the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. A few examples of when a parent might file a due process complaint include you disagree with the results of your child's evaluation regarding his or her eligibility for special education and related services. You think that the Individualized Education Program, or IEP, developed by your child's IEP team doesn't meet his or her special education and related service needs. You believe the school is not providing the services included in your child's IEP. You disagree with the placement decision made for your child. When thinking about whether or not to file a due process complaint, there are a number of considerations to make. To begin with, due process is considered the most adversarial, least collaborative dispute resolution option, and may damage the working relationships between educators and families. Also, certain issues that might be of concern to a parent, such as who a school district hires, are not appropriate for a due process hearing. In addition, in a due process hearing, a hearing officer who doesn't know your child makes the decision. To protect the hearing officer's fairness, the hearing officer is not permitted to talk to either party individually about the due process complaint or hearing. The hearing officer's decision is legally binding, even if you disagree with the outcome, unless the decision is appealed. It is also important to know that most due process complaints are resolved without the need for a hearing often through the use of mediation or at resolution meetings. In a mediation or a resolution meeting, a solution is reached by you, school staff, and others who know your child best. A due process complaint may be filed by a parent or public agency, such as your child's school district. This starts a process that may lead to a formal hearing where a hearing officer decides the outcome. From the time a due process complaint is filed until it is resolved, your child stays in his or her current educational placement, unless you and the school agree otherwise. This is often referred to as pendency or stay put. If your complaint involves admission to public school for the first time, with your consent, your child must be placed in the public school until everything related to the due process complaint is resolved. Details on how to file a due process complaint are available from your state education agency. Before filing, it's important to know that because of the legal nature of the due process proceedings, parents may choose, but are not required, to hire an attorney. School districts, however, are typically represented by attorneys. Parent centers may be able to help with attorney referrals. Your state education agency must make a due process complaint form available but you do not have to use it. Looking at the form and seeing what information it requests may help you organize your thoughts before writing a complaint. 
The IDEA requires a due process complaint include at least the following information. The child's name, the child's address, or contact information for a homeless child. The name of the child's school. A description of the specific problem concerning the child and the facts relating to the problem. And ideas or suggestions to resolve the matter. A due process complaint that doesn't have the required content may be dismissed or returned, which could delay resolution of the matter. Unless an exception to the time limit applies, the problems you list in your due process complaint must have occurred no more than two years before you file the complaint, or from the date you should have known that the problem happened. In some states, the time limit for filing is less than two years, so it's important to file your complaint as soon as possible. Be aware that the parent or school district filing the due process complaint must also send a copy to the other party at the same time it is filed with the state education agency. Also, it is important that you let everyone involved know if you need an interpreter to understand and fully participate in the due process proceedings. Contact your state education agency for more information. For additional information on due process complaints, including resolution meetings, expedited due process complaints, and what happens after you file a due process complaint, visit www.cadreworks.org slash parent dash guides. For state-specific information or individual assistance, contact your state education agency or parent center. The Center for Parent Information and Resources can also assist. They provide information on a variety of special education topics and a current list of all the parent centers in the nation on their website parentcenterhub.org. To review the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, visit sites.ed.gov slash IDEA. This concludes the companion video for the Parent Guide on IDEA Special Education Due Process Complaints. We encourage you to also view the What to Expect After a Due Process Complaint is Filed video, as well as other family resources located on Cadre's website www.cadreworks.org slash four dash families.